I can't with all like this is just my aesthetic. I love the confidence of you putting um, Billie Eilish up in a custom Alexander McQueen corset and being like, that's my aesthetic. And we go back to just the Britney shirt from Vegas. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Regular Pop episode four. Oh my God. Welcome. I'm Patrick Murray. I'm Stacey McGonigal. And we are here uh, to just, you know, really just give you the goods. Yeah. To break down um, everything that's going on in pop culture and just like in our minds, I think. Yes. I mean, the minds, I think, is is more forward of uh, what this podcast is about. It's what yeah. we're thinking about. What's you know? I thought, do we talk about the Gabby Hanna of it all? But then I got scared, you know. But that, that is, is also in the forefront. Right. That was sick. I think that's so true because I think the way that we process uh, current events <laughs> and our own emotions is through the lens of pop culture. Is it like is. is like oh my god! Like I'm feeling mm-hmm. very Extina Aguilera, like stumbling oh. into the voice with a trucker hat on. Like and and then you're like oh mm-hmm. my god, okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, for me, I'm feeling very ex Dina in the Demi Lovato documentary talking about what was, and I'm um, feeling that the you know, face. Mm. the face let's just let's just lay it on the line yes we're at the brink in pandemic where we are holding on by but a thread we are not in a danger zone we are just surrounded by them thus we can't get vaccinated i mean you are but like we're just on the brink of it all and you send me a little texty text saying (laughs) we should watch the circle Yes, I had uh, I had gaze in my ear, uh-huh. being like, being like, oh my god, are you watching the circle? Would you like to have fun, fun? How's about a few laughs, laughs? And I'm like, oh, are we watching the circle? <laughs> like, <laughs> and then we began watching the circle, and I'm upset. I, yes, I said that we should watch at least, (laughs) that I was shooting for watching three episodes. In one evening. (laughs) And when I started the first episode, I was like, oh, so they've made the decision that in lieu, instead of the half hour episodes we had before, we are getting hour long episodes. And actually it takes two hours for but one person to be eliminated. It's like having a job working 24-7 for two days on the trot. It feels like just watching like the American Idol finale Mm -hmm. where they just keep like going to commercial breaks so much and you're like, oh my God, can you just say it? Like, it's so drawn out. I could tell instantly, like the first circle was a phenomenon. We were excited. We had the time. We had the naivete. Um, And now it's like, you know, when you're really hungry and you have no food in your house and you do some sort of episode of Chopped where you're like, oh, this lettuce weird cheese sandwich is really great. And then when you're like, oh, I remember having that. I should have that again. And you're like, oh, I was just like severely hungry that anything was going to be okay. That's how I feel about this circle. It is like, yeah, I feel like I'm scrolling through like a Facebook post sent by my aunt that says, this is pretty groovy. Um <laughs> You girls keep me young. Oh, I love you so much. You know what? We don't need to just talk about things we love. We can talk about things we hate. Of course we can. And then when I found myself clicking the fourth episode of The Circle, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, it's... You like it. You're into I it I don't. I don't, Stacey. <laughs> don't If you think say anyone's going to fuck you after you watch The Circle, <laughs> I'll be surprised. <laughs> so true they shouldn't they shouldn't and i woke up today being like if i don't get my wrecked soon i'm gonna kill myself (laughs) well you're not gonna get it wrecked if you go hey do you watch the circle it's groovy okay so like with online dating like i'm always like i don't care to be funny or interesting oh okay maybe over this this, over this at all um like i'm like 
in person, maybe we'll get some personality, but I Ooh. become like sex robot of just like, hey, what's up? Big <laughs> question mark. <laughs> maybe that's where I went awry. I really was like personality heavy, big cock secondary. And maybe that's why my life is just so not that now. I'm not Josie Grossy anymore. Someone just messaged me without anything else. Just cut or uncut. <laughs> Did you respond? That was the opener. <laughs> well, to be honest, I responded, LOL, hi. But then I... <laughs> double sent it so that I got really embarrassed. That's always the worst. And I went like, also one time in the middle of talking to someone, I accidentally (laughs) sent them just a picture of me in drag. (laughs) I do fashion photography. And then I was like, and then I I almost, I almost in that moment paid for the unlimited fucking grinder to delete it from like both of our ends. Cause I could <laughs> see that he hadn't seen it. And I'm like, it's $35 to undo this mistake. I do I it. do it? Yes. Do I do it? And then I was just like, ha ha ha. So that wasn't on purpose. I've deleted it on my end. Would love if you did the same. Can we just ignore it? Why am I still talking? You haven't read any of this, but I'm the gonna smile. go away. <laughs> I'm gonna go away. <laughs> I do want to talk about Billie Eilish. I don't okay, know if it'll great. be interesting what I have to say about Billie Eilish, but I do want to talk about it. I mean, let me ask the audience. <laughs> okay, you know what? I actually feel the exact same way. I feel like it's, <clears throat> I feel like, her being on Vogue, it's like stunning and gorgeous. Here are the photos. Like, I mean, oh my uh, God. Just all of these colors are like the colors. Like these are my, this is my vibe. I mean. I mean. I mean don't get banged, Stacey. Stacey. I, I'm not gonna Stacey. get banged. I have thought about it. I have thought about getting banged. Look. I at- heard in the tone of your voice of that I mean. I was like, are we wondering? <laughs> We are wondering about the hair color, obviously. Okay. I could never, because I'm not cool enough. Like, I couldn't be platinum blonde and, like, not know about music. And so I sort of know the road for me is kind of where. I've had a, I've had a, I've had a journey um, with going blonde. Um, I've seen. And you've, okay, you have seen one of the iterations. Yes. Um. Uh, my mom will just like almost like if I'm like having a bad day, will be like, "Oh, you're not gonna go blonde again, are you?" <laughs> like, or- <laughs> we have your mom on the podcast. Oh my god! She, like the she's- conversation. She- <laughs> I still, I'm, I will listen to the conversation. Patrick, you know, I will listen, to, but I'm, you know. You know, you know, I you don't know. love you those. <laughs> the first time I tried to go blonde, I like was getting it dyed. It ended up being mm-hmm. so many more hours than I thought. So I showed up to my friend's birthday, like an hour or two late. Right. And we got into a fight because she felt like I was taking her shine. Like she was like, you're going to show up late to my birthday and show up blonde. This okay. was my night. I mean, you know, that's something. That's a vibe. <laughs> yes. And uh, and multiple times it's just been this horrible shade of like yellow. It's well, you like don't the, have the tone. You have to tone it. I know the tone. And the tone is like so exhausting and like. Yeah, but you got to do it. I know, I know, I know. And that's what I figured out. That's what I figured out. The person who did it misled me. Like they were just like, oh, like, I don't know. Well, listen, you can't go blonde with a hairdresser that's like, I don't know. She seemed like she knew. Well, they all seem like they know. But then, you know, know. you walk out with baby bangs like Jeanine Garofalo in Reality Bites. (laughs) And everyone's like, oh, I guess the divorce is going hard. And you're like, yeah. (laughs) You love being like, what am I? Just Jeanine Garofalo in Reality Bites? The bangs were like (laughs) this. These were my bangs. They were baby bangs. Okay. <laughs> and she wore a lot of gap. So yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> they call me mellow yellow. And then did she resell them on Poshmark? <laughs> 
I have made zero dollars on Poshmark. <laughs> As Somebody, you should. You should have to. You should have lost money from the membership fee. <laughs> there is no membership fee, and now all it does is send me like self care reminders. Like I'm enough, <laughs> and I'm like, you know what's enough? Poshmark money in my bank. <laughs> They're like, hey, we know there's not a lot of movement, but we just want you to know there's big things no- are coming your way. <laughs> Honestly, that's what they say. I'm hoping that they like. No, they haven't brought one up today, but it's every day they send me a message. I'm trying to go through my phone to see if I can. Oh, here's one from Poshmark yesterday, 7.55 p.m. Does running away from Monday count as cardio? (laughs) I'm not Josie Grossy anymore. What are your thoughts on this beautiful, wonderful treasure of a person, human being? Um. So I have a couple things. A, I'm realizing how much I hate uh, latex clothes. Interesting. Okay. Um, I uh, like, I'm like, oh, I Mm. will say, I really love, there's one of the images she has latex tights. And I was like, does she just have like impossibly shiny legs? Um, You're like, it's the one image I didn't save. (laughs) No, so I let's talk I about it. No, no, no. I, I'm going to find it while you're talking about it. So she had like latex leggings, which I did okay. enjoy. But otherwise, like I love the fucking Burberry, like the Burberry on Burberry corset yes. and trench. Like she looks gorgeous, stunning. Now the interview I read and yeah. I was like, here's the thing. First mm-hmm. of all, Elton John showed up to, which I'm like, is Elton John like the fairy godmother of like every like young pop star? And I love yeah. that for him. Me like, too. what a what a sweet man to just be like, I'll pop into Demi's documentary to be like, it's not going to work, but we love her anyway. Sorry. Gaga's going to be his god, his like the godmother to his children. Unbelievable. And like now he's bopping in on Billie Eilish to be like she's an old soul. And I'm like, sure. However, she is still very much 19. So sometimes when I'm like reading an interview, I'm like, okay, like this is not, this is an interview with a 19 year old and this is nothing against her, but it's, I have never thought I wanted to read an interview with a 19 year old. No, I don't care to hear about it. Um, But was there any like highlights from the interview? No. Sorry. They were just talking about like Billie Eilish has gone from like blinding neon to now like warm earth tones and like all of this stuff where I'm like, honestly, like I know that's the look. I just like don't own any of it. I own (laughs) none of it. Okay. Like the Kardashian. I don't have a set. Oh my God. I know of like beiges and like. I don't I look terrible in beige. Well, also, like, here's the thing. Like, beige is not fun to buy. So, it's like, not when you're, fun. It's, it's not, not fun. fun. When you're shopping around and you're like, well, I need this little cami because you never know. It's like, I don't want to spend that $12. I want to spend 40 <laughs> when I turn 30 in Vegas drinking a vodka crayon seeing Britney Spears live. That okay? is so it. It's not fun. And I'm still just, like, a dumb slut that wants to be, like, Exactly. Loud. I have an interesting mind, but I want to smell like a slut, to be totally honest. I want, like, the hot pink tank top that says, like, send nudes or whatever. <laughs> like, it's like, and, like, yeah, I'm aging out of yeah. it. And, like. <laughs> Are we? And I mean, it, it should have grabbed us a few years ago. <laughs> but it's like, what do I own that's tan? Ex- maybe this is, like, maybe this is, you know, the back half of 2021 is for us to find our earthy nudes and just, you know, get into it. Should we do, like, a very special episode where we go <laughs> shopping yes. for earthy nudes? Yes. We're going to do, yes. So, you know, subscribe for the earthy nudes extravaganza. And and stay tuned yeah. when that episode goes up in uh, six to eight months when we're allowed to go into a store. <laughs> we're allowed to go um, into a store. And I'm ready to see my body in an earthy nude. That's all. I Oof. remember someone asked me what my style was, and I said strategic. And I stand behind that for the rest of my days. The only thing I will say about this look, and like who am I to say is a full absolute trash bag, is like I'm not loving the Burberry label in the middle oh you're wrong but i'm trash (laughs) i don't know i like i'm that fucking i like puckered i was like (laughs) 
luxury. <laughs> money. Money. Oh my money, God. Money, I'm money, money, money. I think it is just like literally the most basics. I think um, like a camel coat will never go out of style. Like the brown camel, a ritzia special, special. A, a classic jean, a blank white shirt that can be expensive, and then like a nice shoe. And I think if you can just go blank with expensive little moments, I think that's all it is to look rich. I think you're wrong. I, I think... Um... <laughs> And I do consider myself a refined valley dude. I think to look rich, all of them have to be expensive. Like okay. I, well, I, you know, I know I can see you making subtractions to, um, and and like, <laughs> where do you think I'm making the subtraction? Uh, be honest, I, I think you'll you'll get it. The shirt, the pants, and the jewelry. Well, hello, absolutely. <laughs> if I'm if I am gonna dump money on something yeah i need it to be fun (laughs) like it's like if i'm gonna dump money on on Mm -hmm. on Mm -hmm. tan pants and then and then a tan what polo and and then a tan trench coat i think a camel coat i'm not a camel i would put money into that a white t-shirt i'm gonna struggle to spend more than eight (laughs) dollars um I'm Subtraction wearing, one, yeah. Yep. I am not at all ever wearing khaki. My vagina likes it too much. It's their favorite <laughs> meal. <laughs> I have a very big camel toe. My okay. puss is very large and in charge. You're like, you it's- wanted a camel coat? <laughs> <laughs> like, my vagina has never eaten a full meal in its life. Like, it's always open f- for feasting. And a khaki pant to me? Mm-mm-mm. That's like the keg, okay? With a gift certificate. <laughs> yeah. And I can't wear those like cool dad sneakers because I just look like a mom who's running late. I can't sell them. <laughs> just like a PSW. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. PSW wearing her work shoes. Yeah. Being and like, then still is trying to make lunch with her get friends. Poo on these. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, but I think that you and I should really, and if you're listening to this and or and clearly watching this and you want to help us um, to look rich, we would love it. Because I really feel like I need to move into the rich territory. If Billy's doing it, I'm doing it. Let's fucking shoot for the moon. Let's like, go. I think, and I think we're going to, we're going to debut a monochromatic <laughs> yes fantasy serving yes. you um but but a, a a color of the ground an earth mm-hmm. tone like maybe a hat maybe a dad hat maybe oh my I god try that with like a muted. gold with like a, a muted yeah <laughs> so we'll do it and then you know what we'll just pop it on instagram and just see who's really taking the flavors <laughs> because when has anyone described me what i wear anything I bring to the table as like muted, understated. No, no. No. I mean, my fondest memory of you was you getting your shirt ripped off and pouring water all over yourself and gyrating onto the floor in a mesh top. Yes. Which, which means that there was, I was wearing both a tearaway shirt and a mesh top underneath. Understated. No one would say (laughs) Where I look like a woman who can really sell you a great couch at Sears if you just give her the chance. <laughs> My mind is blown. Um, I just want to play the video and then let's unpack it. We're going to probably play it a couple of times. I just want everyone to get ready. We will okay. get demonetized and we are happy with that. Okay, first of all, Kyle's cartmel again. Yeah. She knows. Kyle. <sighs> Kyle, Kyle, Kyle looks incredible. Well, first of all, they all do. Kyle looks invisible. Don't waste my time. Um, no, but Kyle looks so good in that reveal. Like, she's so hot there. For we me, we have to give credit where credit's due. As Kyle says, just be honest. Just Maybe be the, honest. Okay, play it again and I'll look for Kyle. Okay. I'll look for Kyle. <laughs> 
The pink okay. bathing suit, and um, I think it's just for me, the hair flip and the glasses and the bathing suit. For me, it's so distracting that she's the second one and screws up the thing. So Agreed. like, like it's like Melissa goes <laughs> and then Melissa. she's like, and then Melissa. Melissa's, br- Melissa's on a, Melissa has elevated in this video for me enough to make me like really get back into like Melissa. I don't follow her on Instagram, but like, I feel like Melissa's probably doing monochromatic, monochromatic beige. I think Melissa is doing that. Let me look this up. And Kyle is still doing hot pink. <laughs> but like, we're the we, Kyle. We are that's <laughs> going to the right when we were supposed to go to the, go left, to the left, but we're having a good time and we're going to do a cartwheel at the end. And Luann uh, just looks amazing. amazing. Yeah, let's go. So Melissa Gorga looks incredible. Like the pony, like, and I feel like, I was surprised to see her in the All-Stars, but I'm happy she's there. I'm so happy she's there. I feel like this season, this season of New Jersey, first of all, is like, I am obsessed. I love it so much. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't been watching. Okay. I I will go back. I happily will. I've got nothing else going on. I just like, Jersey (laughs) has been disappointing for me. Oh, I, it's like. It's really bringing it for me. And like, okay. first of all, we never fuck with the house husbands, but they're, they're, they're really in it this season. They're really in it. And like, they are making me really happy that I paid $30 to give my friend Brienne a Frank Catania cameo. Wow. Um, because I was like, this is my budget. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I know your fiance's husband got you Vicky Gunvalson, but I'm I'm flying in here with a Frank Senior. The season okay. is great. It's uh, Dolores is just like, you're just like, oh my God, like, will you be my mom? Right. Like, she's just like, so perfect. I'll give it a go. I'm yeah. excited that it's good. I'm 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 excited for Melissa cuz like I really enjoy Melissa. I'm glad that she's here. We've got Kyle in the mix, which I'm we needed Kyle in the All-Stars because Kyle is is a shapeshifter and she's also a shit stirrer. She's like a little gossipy gal. You know what I mean? But like we also need we need Rinna dropped in. We need like like as like an like a care yeah. package like Rinna just like flying down in a parachute. I'm surprised she's not there. I'm surprised Lisa is not there. Was there a reasoning why? Did you get any juice? Um, no, I I don't know if like they're. I mean, because Kenya's not OG, but like I guess they're doing fairly like like these are the the yeah. main stays like all together. Um, I mean, okay, so let's go down this. We've got. <laughs> Okay, who's the third? Teresa. Ter- <laughs> what? Grab the one, wiggle like you're trying to make your ass fall. Okay, can we talk about Ter- Kenya going fuck this and just coming right through and was like, first of all, she should have been at the front. <laughs> Okay, Teresa is giving like Canada's Drag Race, like um, uh, the choreography where the person's just like, is. Well, Teresa looks like, yeah, like she's like your mom who's like, it's too hot. She puts like, she's like over the towel. She's dehydrated. She doesn't really know what's going on. She's like, did we, she thinks that this is the first time they're going to do it. Like she's like. She's like, oh, let's, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. And then Melissa just fucking posted it. Yeah. Like how many times did they do it is what I want to know. But like, so we've and got Kenya, Kenya just being like, oh, if you thought you were talking about Marlo's liposuction, like she's yeah. just like being like, oh, I may have had again, like, honestly, I have loved so much the relatable content of the Real Housewives of Atlanta talking about gaining a lot of weight. Me too. Um, Me but too. now she's like, and I'm back. And she looks beyond. 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 Yeah. So we have Teresa third. Then I think we have. um, Then we have Ramona. Ramona. (laughs) Which that's what I want from Ramona. This is what we want from her. (laughs) Little scared. (laughs) Like just like doing it wrong. Just just like you always want Ramona to just be there and do it wrong. Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. And. 
And then I think we have Luann. Luann's at the – oh, then it's Luann. Cynthia. Then, yeah. And Kenya. And then and Kenya Cynthia. goes forward and Luann says, me too. Well, Luann, Luann looks incredible. Like, what is Luann doing? I mean. I mean. She looks so good. Like, yeah. there is something, and maybe it's – Maybe it's a false hope, hmm. but I'm like, as, as I feel like, again, we are only in our thirties, but like, yes. as you feel your body start to break down and mm-hmm. um, hoard uh, yes. fat and carbs, then. <laughs> Sorry, my dog literally just <laughs> hoarded some carbs and his bark. Can you chill it? There's something about seeing. Like, as you feel yourself get older and things get harder and things mm-hmm. break down, to yeah. see women in their 50s just mm-hmm. looking right and tight. And you're like, I know that obviously there's a budget um, discrepancy, uh, but it's st- between me and them. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant <laughs> in, the, in the cast. And I was like, what? Oh, I mean, I've wondered, like, how much did they have to pay for, like, I don't know. I wonder who would have. They all must be getting the same. Or Ramona, like, maybe Ramona and Luann are getting more. No, there's no way. I feel like no one would. Do you think OC is upset that they're not included? Well, the rumor is that they're going to fly in Tamra. I hate Tamra. I'm I don't really it. care. Yeah. I'm a little Trump loving son. And she, I'm sure, isn't she a Trump lover too? Like, they're in their stupid gym. Tamara's and also, the just they're like, <laughs> I, um, I think Danny Pellegrino was saying, like, oh. the fact that they didn't even bother to put Dallas on because they know he just keeps being like, because it's a flop, like flop season, bye flop, like that they're Dallas not even. Bad. Dallas, I just bailed at a certain, I'm like, I don't care. This sucks. And like, Dallas, like there are some series, like mm-hmm. there are some housewives that can't do it because they're shooting right now. So they can't be on the all stars. So that's kind of right. like some of the justification for like, maybe there wouldn't be a Salt Lake, even though obviously like might be a little <sighs> premature. Jen's back at shooting full time anyways. And yet Dallas is fully not shooting, but they were like, yeah, we're not going to be bringing in no. Stephanie. <laughs> I'd be upset. Can you imagine? Um, But I'm excited for this cast. I think I'm, I think there's going to be like some major drama. I'm, I'm so sure in, in, in all of these women, that they will all go against Ramona. And that's what I want. Um, Ramona needs to just constantly (laughs) be on the defense. That's all I want from Ramona. Her confidence is a problem for me. But what I want is like, I want all of the mix like first of all just all of the mixing and mingling Mm -hmm. but like i want weird beef between like cynthia and melissa or like luann and kyle like it's like that shit is gonna be like (gasps) but also they're ogs like they know what we want from the show and and they're going to give us that like which is i think so great that it's like you kind of have to go with like the old faithfuls because Mm -hmm. they fucking know. No, no, girlfriend. I got this. So it's like, we're taking you on a vacation where normally if I'm going to go on a vacation, I'm on my best. Like, it's like, oh, like, no, keep it cool. Like, we're all here. We're going to have a good time, get some sun, do some Mm -hmm. activities, like, whatever. I just hope Ramona doesn't shit on the floor. She's among new friends, so she can't be shitting in the robe. She can't. But she knows that she has to. She knows that she has to. She has to shit in the robe. Maybe she'll be bunkmates with Teresa. I feel like Teresa might be the only one who would understand shitting in the robe. I feel like Teresa and Ramona do speak the same language in that it's their own. Like, it's like they're, they just like, Mm -hmm. they process things so weirdly. And there's still like a lot of like pretend, um, like, what's that word I'm thinking of? Like Ramona like acts as if she's super classy. She's the classiest one in the bunch. There's like an air. And I feel like Teresa has an air about her as well. And it's like, but we know ladies, like we know. And that they're all like kind of on the same level. So you don't mm-hmm. have as much of the like, who are you? Like right. stuff. It's like, they're all 
they've all like established themselves as these like legacy housewives. Totally. So that also means they're not going to be as up for like one person acting. Like if you have Ramona yeah. with a, like if anyone has a diva attitude, it's like, uh, we're just as entitled to have a, like to. Oh, it's going to be Ramona. Like it is going, like, first of all, I feel like Cynthia is not going to have that one in. How are they going to pick the rooms? <gasps> How are they going to pick the room? This is what I'm, this is what I'm thinking about. So yeah. So there's, I'm so excited for this season. I I'm so glad that Bravo, you know, feels that we've been really good this Christmas. And so we get our <laughs> a gift. Um, I'm really, really excited. I feel like Melissa's body is truly going on the vision board. Luann's as well. I feel like Luann and Cynthia might, I feel cause like Luann's not going to be like, Hey, Teresa, you and I <laughs> jail, uh, because Teresa actually went to jail. Um, you know how her and Leah were like, remember when you hit a cop and I hit a cop and white women, it's different. And they kind of got along. Yes. yes. Um, I feel like I can see maybe Luann and Cynthia having a vibe for some reason. Getting along maybe. Yeah, maybe. Cynthia will like six episodes and realize that she hasn't done anything and like fight about something weird. Yes. Kenya's going to come out with a bang. I think Kenya will just like, oh. and Melissa, doesn't Melissa openly not like Ramona? Like openly has a problem. That's great. So, uh, yeah, but all of their bodies are up on the board. This is They look amazing. Special. I'm so excited. I do. love Goop. I love it so much. Me I too. used to read it being like, when she had the article, it was like travel tips. And some of it I found oh. helpful of being like, oh, here's a great restaurant to eat at. Some sure. of it you're like, Oh, if she's like the best thing you can get at Mario Batali's restaurant is the thing he just makes for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but here's the thing: like, and when, it's like it's not on the menu. He just makes me this squash ravioli, and you're but like, that's why we like Goop. It's like if you're actually looking for real tips, like you're not reading it right. No one's gonna buy a nine thousand dollar like crystal blessed cardigan, you know. But no. I want to know that it's it exists. And, like, people were getting so offended that there was, like, some, like, $200, like, fucking olive oil or, like, or salad dressing. And it's like, well, yeah, I'm not going to buy it, but I kind of want to look at it and just be, like, and just imagine if I'm, like, yeah, it's probably really good. (laughs) Like... But I also love, like, here's the thing, like, Goop and Gwyneth, they're all problematic. It's so, it's such, like, white, rich woman. You don't think? No. I think it's I think it's genuine. I think like it's like well what do you expect of her? Like if Gwyneth Paltrow is going to give you it's like if you want to live right. or pretend to live as if you are Gwyneth Paltrow, this is what it costs sis and it's like oh, no, yeah. I know. This is but, this is her. But it's also like I think people get really upset because Goop is like saying this is what you should be doing and and a lot of this like doctors are like this isn't it. <laughs> but it's like that's also like she's a celebrity who at all costs wants to stay young, stay very thin, and like look the best in in a way that's unrealistic. Check, check, check. She looks amazing. And there we go, guys. It's time for me to get in bed. This has been fun. My thing more on the goop is like, remember that thing about like that ad uh, when we were growing up about the house hippopotamus. The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the Eastern United States. Which first of all, I was, I thought was real. Like it Me was too. like, I was like, oh, that's real. And then it was like, we all know this isn't real. So why do we right. believe other ads? And I was like, oh, so I'm starting even further behind everyone else. Me too. I was like, so I can't ha- So what you're saying is I can't have one. Yeah. Okay. But it's okay. like, so where is like what is my responsibility in like media literacy to be like oh if Gwyneth Paltrow is giving me a list of like things to do first of all I can maybe do one of them because it's so expensive and that's her lens that she'd like but if I want a taste of the finer things in life you better bet I'm gonna go to fucking Mario Batali's restaurant and I'll be like so can we do this flash ravioli that Gwyneth has and maybe I'll have it and maybe it'll be amazing I mean, to be a real Pisces and do a little bit of a flippy floppy, if we don't mind. Um, (laughs) Come join (laughs) us. Gas pedal, you know. um, (laughs) Gwyneth has never once been like, I'm relatable. 
I'm one no. of you, like never once. And, and that's the thing. She has always that's sold it. her company on like elitism. Like this is rich. This is decadence. This is my life. It's not your life. You um, take it or leave it. If you don't, if you it. want, like, again, it, it doesn't say like people can feel that, that promoting a $200, um, uh, olive oil is saying that your Costco olive oil is mm -hmm. inferior and you are bad. But sis, that call's coming from inside the house. She's just mm -hmm. saying, this is the one I like and it's cute. If you feel attacked right. by the $200 olive oil. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> For me, it's, it's Gwyneth to the left. It's Aniston to the right. Um, okay, and yeah. And, uh, and when we're ready and when that episode is ready to be had by both of us, we can talk about Aniston. <sighs> you legitimately got mad and had to take a breath. Oh, something's I'm going sorry. on. Shut the going on? <laughs> Shut up, Stacey. Shut up. Shut up. First of all, I took a deep breath because you said Aniston and I needed to take a moment to be like beauty perfection. I will always love her. I didn't even realize you were talking about your stupid, <laughs> false criticisms of her that are I have, baseless. No, I have that are no baseless. I have no criticisms about. I'm going to report our own video <laughs> and get it pulled from the internet. For, first if of you all, YouTube. YouTube? I've had enough of playing games. First of all, I have no criticism on Aniston. The only thing I said to you and I presented in a safe and secure way was- Safe for whom? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the question was, we are seeing a new face. We are A new face has entered the chat. Mm. We aren't. It's not a new face. No, no, no. No. <laughs> something's, something's up and something's new. Something's borrowed and something's blue. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> saying, okay, in the same way I look at Kristen Wiig and I go, hmm, something new this way comes. The same is with Aniston. And that's all I'm saying. This is a case for the FBI. We'll bring the documents that we both feel are necessary. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> I will not. I will not like acknowledge you like <laughs> I will not acknowledge any of this. Okay, fine. So it's Gwyneth. It's Anna. Boundary. Boundary. <laughs> Boundaries. Triggered. Triggered. Um, I'm building a boundary. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Gwyneth and it's Aniston is at the table. Gwyneth, it's Aniston. Okay. That's, that's a fun table. Is Charlie's. Wow, that's a great table. Um, I okay, here's the thing. I want I want Chelsea Handler there. Of course, we do. But I don't I'm I'm really undecided on like how much she would like me at first. I think I think if there mm. was a situation where we had to be around each other. Yes. all the time for yeah. years she would end up really liking hmm. me right i think if we were just dropped into this table i think she would uh ignore me i actually disagree i think that like you being naturally unbothered would be like you being like able to go with the flow like i don't feel when? like you really when <laughs> no i'm just saying like when i at that I table first... i would be just shitting myself. Oh my God. I would be the, I would be too much. I would be so screaming. Much. I would yeah. need a nap. I would be screaming. In between activities. That's a powerful table. <sighs> yeah. You have to bring the confidence of a You're happy right. berry baby bang into that table. You're right. It is all about the confidence and <sighs> And like, you know, when Got Mick was like talking to RuPaul and Michelle. Yes. And was just happy to be there and was just like joking as if like this wasn't a huge shenanigan. Like that's what you would have to do. You're right. I think. And you know what I've realized about myself mm. is like I need one anchor person there. Of course. That then I'm like, oh, I'm amongst friends, even though there are some new people. Yes, yes, yes. So it's like, so I'll give you a seat. I will give you a seat. Me? You, <laughs> yes, oh. yes. 
Well, I'm going to need help looking at the menu. Who's paying? Do we have enough money in our bank okay. account? Okay, so you lost your seat already. Um. <laughs> no, I think I think I would be okay at that table. Yeah. In in that, I would have to walk into the ocean and never return after the meal because I would have done something or said something or got my period on a marble chair or something. And then, but, but then I could kind of use that to kind of like look over to Charlize, like, right? You know, and uh, and and then we would call the dinner early, and we'd all go somewhere else. <laughs> You would really connect with Chelsea. Like you and Han, I think you and Handler, like I would seat you next to each other and you'd kind of be my in with Handler and I could get you in. With Gwyneth and Aniston. Aniston would love you. And I think you would feel terrible (laughs) about anything you've said. I have not said anything terrible. Boundary. <laughs> Boundaries. I think I think Aniston would like us both. Handler would like you and would need to get on board with me. Mm. Paltrow would like me and need to get on board with you. Agreed. Charlize. Would love us. Charlize, yeah. Charlize would love us. I I feel like once the banter got a flowing, I think we would yes. win the table. But um yeah. I think I would – the thing is that I think I think Handler would spot that when she was talking, I'd start to do this. Okay, but we'd have her, to – Or have like – and I'd almost be like mouthing along with her. <laughs> like <laughs> – Ew. When people do that, I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> it's so psychotic. You're like <laughs> – We can talk about the table forever. I mean, that's a whole nother podcast called who's at, who's at your table. Oh my God. Who's at your table and how does it go? And how does it go? Because I think that you have a very refined table. Um, here, here's my main concern from this table. Okay. We, okay. We are going to be hungry after that table. It doesn't matter what is going to be presented to us. We are going Fuck. to be hungry after this table. Okay. The glasses, this is in my mind, the glasses that would be at that table are so thin that but a clink of a glass would smash it. Do you see, you know what I'm saying? And I'm foreseeing a metal straw in the glasses as well. Um, very she she wee wee. We would have to come so monochromatic. Yes. Yes. But maybe, che- maybe not. Maybe Chelsea would bring a little vibe, a little tie dye vibe to it, but. I think um, it, it, <laughs> it would definitely be that moment when the server comes with the bread and we think, we think, mm-hmm. which two am I grabbing? And everyone goes, oh, like none for me. Exactly. And we already have bread on our plate. And that's how the day oh, is begin. God. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> We've all we've already taken two and have talked about like, oh, maybe if you get this one, then I'll try some of that. Or like, what kind of yes, butter is it, it? And then they're like, oh, we just have the olive oil. And we're like, do you have a butter? Is it like a garlic butter? Could you make this? Like- is the, this would be the offset is do you have the butter? Do you have a <laughs> butter? And that's when we would have to work extra hard to get back at the table. Yes, because then it would be it would be the the none for me, none for me. I'm good. Where then we're like. And then, and then you know what they say? Enjoy. Please enjoy. And then we become a guest and we don't become a main attraction. Someone would say like, like, I, oh, I wish I could or I wish I yes, had. Yes, of course. Um, uh, mm-hmm. I wish I had your confidence or. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, we think you and- dropped your debit card. It's bent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> Black Amex, Black Amex, Black Amex, <laughs> TD debit card. Preloaded visa. <laughs> In your mind at this table, is it an evening meal? Yes. Okay. Yeah. As much as I love being at that table, like that is a very like, there's a lot of stakes. There'd be a lot of planning beforehand. You are so right. Like the thing is, if we could sell them on a brunch, 
that would honestly like I can kill a brunch. It is in my gay fucking DNA to kill to a brunch. Kill a brunch. Because I think I could bring in some like dinner energy. The problem is I'd be stressing the whole day before the dinner. So the brunch might be optimal because you get up and you just have to get ready and go. Yes, because the dinner, it's like, I'm like, I'm going to this fucking expensive restaurant. Yes. And I'm like, I need to not eat all day or something so that exactly. I a, like fit into my monochromatic look and then also right. like enjoy this fucking food that I'm going to spend so much money on. And then I'm going to oh, get here's the, the three gnocchis and be like, you think you're paying for the meal? I would have to go in at least thinking like it's. They don't split the bill. It's one person is taking that bill. We wouldn't even be like that. We wouldn't even be seen. The as thing an is option for the bill. I know, but like I would, I would have gone to DD to be like, what's a line of credit? And can I have one just for this meal? Just to pay for the meal. Oh, wow. I think I would, I just would naturally let the alphas take over and be a subordinate to them. Can you imagine? I would murder you if like we got there and somehow someone did say we're just going to go split skis and you were like, oh, I can't afford this. No, no, no. We will be affording <laughs> it. We will be affording it. But what I'm saying, like, first of all- Or if you were like, I had not prepared. I need to do, I need to move some things around. First of all, I <laughs> I mean, if if anyone enjoys this as much as us, um, I would love to just like start to put together tables with you and talk about like how it could go. Um, each person gets yeah. to add a couple people and then you're like, oh, okay, well, I don't know if they would, because I know the people that I think would love me. Um, yeah, see, I feel like I need to like, after talking about your table, like, I think that I need to like start reaching for higher things because like, I'm not even, you're like for- Teresa Caputo, <laughs> <laughs> please sound off. If you enjoy sound the t- off in the comments below about your table and who you want at your table. And if you think our table seems a little unrealistic, <laughs> <laughs> no, if you think that you can fucking save it, like, <laughs> Don't throw darts at my vision board, motherfucker. I'm not yucking your yums. <laughs> uh, I would never. Uh, this was really great. So, like, let's think about some more tables. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a guest on. We'll talk about their tables. Um, <sighs> yes. With some pop culture news. Um, well, thank you for listening. You can follow us always. Uh, I'm at the Stacey McG. Brutal. And... <laughs> It just sucks. My social <laughs> handles suck. <laughs> and so I am much. and I am at Pat Smear. That's P A T T Smear. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Um, <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Oh, bye. Uh, bye. <laughs>